she's all in shit. Let's give it up. Let's give it up for the next one. Hey! Tonight. Thanks for having me. My folks called me a couple weeks ago and shit, talking about some, um, where the fuck was some 50 bucks? You 50 bucks? Bitch, I told you I was going into that contest, but a bitch ain't win. So what the fuck you think you gonna get your 50 bucks? The fuck out of here, ho. I don't owe you shit anyway. You my mother. And your damn ways and shit. Still ain't got no damn job, of course. I ain't never ain't gonna get one. Give a fuck about having no job. You know what I'm saying? I got five kids. Once a year, I go collect the fucking, fucking um, income tax for their asses. You know what I'm saying? Selling the motherfucking kids. I just don't sell my fucking food stamps. I don't agree with that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's fucking selling that shit. I can't do that. But anyway, my kids, all of them got jobs. You know, even my youngest one, he only six months. I mean, he's supposed to have a fucking job. I breastfeed that hoe. He's supposed to be around this motherfucking titty pitching old titties. Any damn way, they, they always catch an ad too because I ain't go nowhere in my life. Where the fuck was I going to go? Up the street, down the street, buy weed? That's all the fuck I did. So anyway, now um, I'm dating a young dude again, of course. Probably like 22 and shit. Ain't got no job, no car. Live with me. Just got picked the fuck out. Had to go and start back dating the motherfuckers from 75 to 85. Shit. I need that pension. I ain't never worked so I can't get one. What the fuck? You know, I, I like the men that's like, you know, in walkers or on the breathing machines and shit. I really dig they ass a little bit better. Shit, life been all right for me and shit until I moved in with the motherfucking vultures and shit. I really don't like vultures and shit. Them bitches don't cook and clean, plus they don't pay fucking rent. So I move in with the motherfuckers and shit, you know what I'm saying. Move the kids in a week later and shit, because I lost my other place and shit because somebody broke in. So my kids and shit, so I left about it, that motherfucker. They were supposed to be my security guards, my insurance. So I ran about this bitch, and I ain't seen my kids for three weeks and shit. You know, they talking about someone, who the fuck you, why the fuck you gonna leave me? I said, leave y'all, y'all bigger than me, and y'all younger than me, y'all should have caught up with a bitch. What was I supposed to do, stay around and wait for y'all? So they finally come back and shit. I want that gay bike for paying their taxes, now I can get my AFDC back and shit like that. Thanks for paying your motherfucking taxes. Anyway, and shit, I had to start back going to the gym, of course, because the bitch was thick to the motherfucker. I was so fucking big that when I bent over and start shaking my ass, my legs ain't, ain't never stopped shaking until like 20 minutes later, so that was fucked up. Had dishes in my ass, looked like a little kid threw some rocks at me and left it dead. I mean, shit was fucked up. So I had to get my shit back together, you know what I'm saying? My old man, I got a new man right now and shit. Thanks God for him, he must ain't seen me up on fucking internet. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't gonna tell him shit, but I, I guess now he's broke ass. But you know what shit, got a new man, he been treating me all right and shit. Except for last week and shit, I, I couldn't see him none last week and shit, so I went and fuck with his boy and shit. Now his boy threatened to blackmail my ass, and I'm like, what the fuck? He starts saying how he gonna sue me if I don't tell my man and he in love and all this shit. So he pack his shit and try to move in with me. Why, how you gonna leave your wife and try to move in with my ass? I'm a whole rat. You can't move in with me. You don't even got enough money to buy me cush in 40s every fucking day. Get the fuck out of here. So anyway, he pack his shit, come show up at my motherfucking house. So he banging and he banging. And I kept saying, he kept saying, um, I kept saying, who this? He said, I don't know who this. I said, this fucking police get away from my damn door. You know, so now my old man and shit, he seemed to take me back. He seemed to agree with all the bullshit that I've been doing. You know what I'm saying? And plus, I need a good man in my life because I get locked up fairly good part of the fucking year and shit. And so now when he come pick me up, I ain't got to worry about he, him having wants like fuck I do. And then I always had these people come up to me like, um, Lady Renee, where you going to be at? I said, okay, Mondays and Wednesdays, I'm going to be at the food stamp office on Jackson. And Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm being 901 popular because they got a motherfucking restraining order against me. I'm not understanding how you gonna have a restraining order against me when you got my motherfucking food stamps. <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? But anyway, thanks for having me. I'm letting you know.